Hi, welcome back to Biz Dev Weekly, the business development show, uh, a product of newlucid.com. And uh, today we have Chris Hamilton from salestoptoday.com uh, joining us uh, in the program. Thanks for joining, Chris. Thanks for having me, Kirsten. Your topic today, Chris, is how to leverage photos uh, to get found online. So Chris, maybe you can uh, give us those those secret tips that really work for you. Sure, Kirsten. I mean, if you take a look at the image that we have up here right now, there's a couple things I want to highlight is um, if you put a search term into Google, um, the way Google's positioned right now is you will have the web results come up first, but in most cases, images will come up second. So that's why I've circled that with the big red circle right there is to show you the importance of images. And a lot of times people will uh, you know, visual in nature. So they want to find things. And, you know, this is great for people who have images on their websites. It is an excellent means to driving traffic back to your website. And what I mean by that is very few web developers or people who create websites take the time to put in what they call a title tag or a or an alt tag on the images an alternate tag the alternate tag is powerful from the standpoint of you can use a term and a geographical area or a geographical area and a term so kirsten if you go back to that slide that we uh, that we had up there in this case we're using real estate investments canada and images uh, so when you go in here we've clicked on the images side and you can't really see it, but down in the right-hand corner, it says, why real estate? And the uh, that's actually a image from one of our client's websites. So we've gone and optimized that image on their website. Hmm. And the there thing is. is, is when you, there it is. So when you actually click on that image, guess what? It takes you right over to the website and to the blog post that we actually put hmm. this on. So it drives traffic to your website. And so few companies or people do this with their photos on their website. So it's an excellent way to optimize it and drive traffic back to your website. Yeah, looking at that, that's uh, that's that's actually very very obvious, Chris. I mean, it's it's one of those things that why is it overlooked so often? Uh, you know what? I think what it is is just um, not to throw web developers under the bus, but they just. It's not something that they, they look for or try to do on a regular basis. It's like, oh, let's just put an image up and the image goes up, right? Yeah. And they just, you know, it's just extra time for them to do things. And it's usually not in the budget. So they'll just not do it. And it's unfortunate because it's those small little bits that, um, you know, can help drive traffic through to your website. And you never know if someone finds you that way, if they're going to become a client or not. So, I mean, that's, it's extremely important. And I do this with Every single image on my website is properly formatted so that it can actually drive traffic back to my website. Great tips. Um, obviously, also some insight on proper strategies when it comes to web development. Don't overlook the strategy to properly blueprint your entire search strategy when you're creating those websites. It's one thing to get a great price on a website, but it's more important to make sure the website's actually going to create money for you and draw business uh, to your product. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, great tip on images and, and how to promote those images, Chris. Thanks, Kirsten. More information, check out newlucid.com uh, for business development help. Uh, or you can check out Chris, Chris's blog at salestipaday.com for daily sales and marketing advice. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Thank you.